guys, it's me, Abigail, and today I'm going to be showing you three moves of gymnastic, gymnastics slash yoga. I'm not really sure. And I'm going to be showing you, teaching you actually, how to um, do them. So you make sure you like them. So, like, I cannot talk. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let's get started. So, first of all is the bridge lots of people know this simple easy and it looks something like this this the bridge it's literally a bridge okay so for starters or beginning beginners whatever you want to call it let down on the floor put your hands like this and curve them backwards it's nothing much you know don't need any flexibility really for this and then you push yourself up, okay? And then you go back down, slowly, not too fast. You don't want to hit your head or anything. Now, if you want to do the way I did, going back where it's just like that, you can take a surface, a tool or a wall, walls, but you can, it has to be a rough wall because you don't want to slide down. You can have someone holding you do it while doing that. So. You take this and you go down slowly, okay? And then you go back up. Or what I normally did was somebody having you hold, holding you here while you go down, okay? And then bring you, help you come back up, okay? So now the second one is the leg uh leg hold i think that's what it's called look something like that okay so you can take a surface for beginners and for example you can only do like this you every day you bring a bit up until you can do that or also if you want to get things done a, qu a bit quicker you can take a surface again like this, right? Or how, 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 only put it as far as you can. You breathe in and out. And as you breathe out, you bring it a bit forward every time. And breathe into the muscles. Or also what is really, really important, and I am begging you to do this, to stretch before you do these things. Because it, we, you'll get really hurt if you don't know like how to do them. So always stretch before you do it. So the next thing is I'm not really I'm not really perfect at this. So if I fall, I'm sorry. It's kind of like a needle, but it's not all the way straightened out. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it here, okay? You're gonna take there, and you're going to take it up, and like that. Whoop. See, I'm not perfect at this, but let me try again. You're gonna take under the leg. You take your hand, because many people have question how to do this. You take your hand like that, you put it under your leg like that, and then you bring it up, okay? So, like that. Yes? Okay, then, the last but not least, I like to call this one the spider because it kind of looks like a spider. Look, <laughs> my brother, even my brother was like, when I tried this for the first time, when it was like this, I'll, my brother said I look like a spider. Anyways, enough of that. So basically, even people ask how, like, how are you supposed to do that? So you take, you bend like this, right? You bend like your arms have to be kind of like this to hold your leg like that. And then you are going to lift your legs off of the ground. Okay? Lift. Now you have to exercise your arms more for this. It's not going to happen right away and that's okay if you do if it doesn't but for starters you can 
also the balance you have to have good balance because you can fall backwards like I did in the beginning as well so you have to do like this and for starters you can lift one leg up maybe and put the all the weight on this and put less weight on this leg and do the same for the other one and then soon you can do this okay so the last one this is a bonus I wasn't really gonna do this but a lot of people this is like the basis of everything if you need to do to know how to do this and of course the splits is the basis of almost everything of flexibility if you can do the splits you can do much more things so basically what i did again every day i trained every single day like you do your stretches first do your stretches and then you and then you um every day you go until you can do it completely okay you should okay so what i also did is first go like this with your leg this way you bend this one you go forward you go forward every time forward 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 don't again don't push yourself listen to your body it is really important to listen to your body because if you push yourself you're gonna get hurt or worse so you go every time forward 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 until you can do it okay i promise every day every day at what time i don't mind probably the afternoon because that's more when you're doing things morning also is good because your your mind is not on too many things but just make sure you stretch first and then you can do it every day try it because that's how i learned to do it every day when i woke up i would try or different times of the day you don't have to do it only once a day but but you you can do it twice a day or thrice a day it's your choice also I like to do like for stretching I like to do like the half split like this again don't push your body you don't have to go down all the way like other people do or like I do just push just 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 do the way you can and also with the left leg you also have to train your left leg it's very important lots of people don't train their left leg and um like some people do they can do like the splits with left leg they can do the um leg hold with their left leg i can't personally but i still train it and i'm still training to do the splits with my left leg because splits like the basis so i think that's about it so those are the th four actually uh things that i i wanted to share with you guys so it try to learn those thingy things and yeah so make sure you like and subscribe and again turn on those notification bell and i'll see you next time bye